we've got, I think, 16 or 17 Crown Victorias that belong to the Sheriff's Office. We've got 11 Crown Vicks that are running and driving. Taxi cab people buy a lot of these cars because they're so tough. I mean, they run them for years. There was a taxi cab guy in here looking at them yesterday. He was driving a Crown Vic, had like 400,000 miles, and he drives it every day. We've got two Ford cars that were making detective cars that are running and driving. Dodge van, a Ford Ranger pickup, and we've got a GMC Yukon a 02 model that was a seized vehicle that belongs to the drug squad. We've got a van that came from CSI, we've got a passenger van that I think somewhere at the sheriff's office came from. All those vehicles will be sold for whatever they bring. Uh, they've got to pay a 10% buyer fee on top of what they pay for them, and they've got to pay the title transfer fee, which is written on the windshield of the vehicle. We have confiscated jewelry from the Bibb County Drug Squad and the Crime Unit. We have a Rolex watch, but from what I've been told, it is not real. We have a 100 troy ounce solid silver bar that was confiscated somewhere. We have numerous diamond rings, gold rings, gold watches, gold bracelets. We've had most of it checked. All the diamonds are supposedly real. I don't know how good the quality is. And how can someone participate in an auction like this? All they've got to do is come out here and register on Saturday morning and have the money to buy whatever they want. How can they pay? Cash, check, credit card. If they're planning on spending a lot of money, they've got to have a bank letter to go along with their check, saying that the bank will guarantee their check for X amount of dollars to the two or three days after the auction. They can come and look 8 to 5 from now to the auction. And we'll be here like 7 o'clock the morning of the auction. So 4459 Broadway, or they can go to tlindavis.com and look at all the pictures of all the stuff.